Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness, we're winning. We are winning every day and every moment of our life. We won. I won. The game has been won. So blessed. So thankful to be in this moment. Sacred Sunday. Sacred special Sunday. January 21st, 2024. In the essence and presence of Seguin, Texas. I'm incredibly thankful that I have the wisdom and the knowledge and the experimentation and the experiences of sharing the divine secrets to reverse aging. If you don't know who I am, everyone, my name is Jason Mangan, and I humbly call myself a celestial transformational soul coach. I specialize in physical detoxification and nutritional replenishment. I also specialize in emotional detoxification. I own my own raw, organic, uh, pure premium, live living, uncooked, unprocessed, Real food, real whole foods, real superfoods, living energy, living light, electricity. And uh, I've been uh, on this path now for over 22 years. 13 years on the emotional side and uh, been experimenting and traveling the world, um, positively impacting and empowering thousands of people all across the world for over 22 years, and I'm just incredibly thankful to be a humbled student of life. I've been a seeker of truth ever since I was eight years old, and I'm willing to share with you some divine golden nuggets on some truth about how you and I can reverse our physical aging. How we can reverse our physical aging. Aging. Now, Most people, when they want to slow down their aging process or if they want to physically feel better, most people will concentrate on laws, physical laws of nutrition. They'll want to change their nutritional lifestyle. They'll possibly get into maybe trying detoxification, detoxing from heavy metals and parasites, worms and They'll try to heal their gut, which is all good. It's a physical law. But within laws or codes or programs within the infinite multiverse, there are levels of laws on how things operate and function throughout the infinite multiverse. There are levels of laws, just like we have physical laws of things that fall. If we drop something from a skyscraper and it do, and it's not performing the law of flight or the law of aerodynamics, it will fall based on electromagnetism that governs and operates everything through our tutorial field, our Torah field. There are laws that oversee laws in the physical realms in the spiritual realms and also in the soul realms. They're they're states of laws, just like we have water that we can freeze in an ice cube. We can turn it into air or steam, right? Or we can change it into a liquid. These are laws within the physical laws. Some laws oversee other laws. So like the law of aerodynamics oversees the law of what they call gravity, which is just the law of weight, the law of density. And if a particular object doesn't have uh, the programs of flying in their own aerodynamics, that particular law will fall from the skyscraper and hit the ground. Just like we have the law of flotation, and the law of sinking in water. This is why we have, you know, steel metal ships that are not sinking because they're using a law of flotation. But you also have laws of um, objects that sink to the bottom of the ocean. These are just physical laws. Now, most people, when they want to reverse their aging, they're only really focused on one physical law. And that's the physical law of nutrition. 
Now, this is good. This is really good because you want to learn the power of nutrition. You, each and every one of us want to learn the power of fasting, dry fasting, water fasting, juice fasting. We want to learn knowledge, wisdom, and intelligence on this particular physical law of changing our nutritional lifestyle. This is a physical law. There are other laws that oversee physical laws, which I'm about to teach you. So we can get to the root cause of actually reversing our aging. And you and I have the ability to live hundreds of years, thousands of years, and look like we're 25 years old. Do you know that this is possible? Do you know that this has happened on this earth realm many times with millions of people? So you and I have the same opportunity, and that's exactly what I'm giving you. I'm giving you a gift. I'm sharing with you some divine, absolute secrets to reversing your age, and I'm going to share with you the root cause that oversees physical laws of nutrition. Now, it's good to be eating and drinking live, living, real electricity. The body thrives on living electricity, real Whole foods, raw, organic, pure, premium, live, living electricity. Now, each fruit, each vegetable, each herb, each green and mushroom, do you know, has their own sacred geometry of communication. They have their own pattern. Every, every whole food, every fruit, that is uncooked, unprocessed, has their natural organic frequency. It's a vibrational frequency of communication, giving you light information, light communication, light energies that work perfectly in harmony with your entire physical body, your spiritual body, your soul. Every fruit, every vegetable, every whole food, whether it's a mushroom or, or an herb, has their own unique lights, colors, and sound of geometry, of information that works perfectly in harmony with your physical body. This is why we use certain herbs and greens and fruits for detoxification. These are all physical laws. This is just one physical law that people can operate in. This is beneficial. This is one reason why I am a nutritional specialist because I understand this physical law. This is why I own my own superfoods company because this is one physical law to teach someone the entire holistic approach of healing. Giving people an opportunity to detox from heavy metals that are stuck in your brain, your cells, that are stuck in your tissues, your internal organs, giving people an opportunity to detox from parasites, worms, flush themselves out from candida, the drugs that they put in our food, the chemicals and toxins that they put in our food, the animal DNA, the animal frequencies of fear, the human DNA that they put in our fake plastic foods, this is just one physical law that people jump into if they want to slow down the aging process. This is a physical law. There's another law, just like how the law of aerodynamics oversees the law of what they call gravity, which is the law of just falling. There are other laws that oversee nutritional physical laws. And these laws are non-physical laws, which people kind of jump into when they start growing and evolving in the health and wellness industry, when they want to grow more in love. And these laws deal with energy, vibrations, frequencies. This is why people get into um, sound healing or music healing. Because you got to remember, everything and everyone, including you and I, we give off a vibrational frequency of thoughts, our thoughts, emotions, and then, and then it dictates our behaviors, patterns, and habits. Now, this is another law. It's a spiritual law. It's a spiritual science. You got to understand this. Everything that I'm sharing with you can be backed up by science. This is how powerful what I'm sharing with you can be backed up by scientific measuring tools 
and data and research. This is backed up by science. This is why I know what I know and I do what I do on a daily basis. So there are non-physical laws of vibrational frequencies that we can tap into to slow the aging process down to become healthier, to live in vitality. So this is another thing that I do to slow down the aging process, to feel better, to feel good. So I get into acupuncture. I do tapping techniques on my meridian points every day to feel better, to work with energy because everything is giving off its own vibrational frequency. Everything is magnetism, electromagnetism in their own lights, colors, and sound in their own sacred geometry of communication. It's all magnetism. This is why I wear what I wear. The way I talk, the way I talk, there are specific things that I do with my voice, the fluctuation of my voice, because it's given off a certain frequency. Because when you learn the secrets of teaching, of communication, you use certain specific words to become a positive influencer, to empower the world. This is why I move the way I move with my hands and my body, because I'm giving and receiving certain vibrational frequencies of empowerment, because I've been using energy by the power of my thoughts and imagination and visualization for over 22 years now. You guys have the same opportunity to positively impact your loved ones, your spouses, your children, to empower the world, and to become very successful and prosperous in your business, the things that you're in love with. So if you tap into these non-physical laws of energy and vibrational frequencies, you can tap into acupuncture or energy work or Reiki. You can do Reiki energy work. You can um, do color healing. Every color has their own vibrational frequency. This is a reason why I'm always um, imagining surrounding myself with golden light energy because the frequency of gold is a frequency, a magnet, a magnet of creating success, of creating more money, of creating accomplishments, of becoming more luckier. This is why I'm always imagining right now in this moment with my eyes open, golden light energy that I'm giving and receiving to myself 24-7. But there's also, you got to remember, every color, every light has its own frequency. This is why I'm imagining all the time in meditation and when I'm speaking or connecting with my family or connecting with someone over the phone, I'm always imagining angelic, celestial, benevolent white light, golden, rainbow light frequencies. I'm imagining the flower of life, the flower of abundance, the flower of joy. And it's penetrating my body. It's penetrating your body. It's penetrating everyone and everything. It's a healing frequency. It attracts success. It attracts the right women and men, the right leaders and entrepreneurs that will work perfectly in collaboration with my own soul mission and purpose. I don't need everyone. I just intent with an order and a command of my own frequency, certain people that will resonate with my soul mission and purpose because they have the same similar soul mission and purpose. Because we're, a, we're magnets of attracting the right men and women into our life. I don't need everyone. I just need a few. I just need a few people. Now, this is energy work. And you can, when you're using energy work and you're using the power of music, the power of lights, the power of colors, when you're using certain exercises, techniques, and drills every day, meditation, when you're doing yoga, when you're doing breathing techniques, you're giving and receiving a certain energy. It's a magnet, and this will help reverse your aging process. Now, there's other laws that oversee these spiritual laws of energy vibrational frequency. There are 
other laws, the highest divine laws of love. Are you ready for it? These divine laws oversee the laws of vibration and energy and the laws of the physical laws of nutrition and detoxification. Now you want to play with all of these laws together in harmony like a sophisticated divine music or musician or a musical instrument, but there are higher laws that you can tap into on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and these are the highest divine laws or codes or programs of love within the infinite multiverse that you and I can experiment with, that you got and you and I can explore with, that you and I can play with. And these are the laws that are coming from your soul. They're emotions. Emotions. Emotions are different than energy. This is why you and I are the most sophisticated, most emotionally conscious living entity of creation within the infinite multiverse. We are the pinnacle of all pinnacles of creation because we're created in the image of source, creator. We're created in the image of this divine oversoul emotional, conscious, living entity that has masculine and feminine qualities and attributes, characteristics and traits, personality that has no sexuality, that has no gender. And you and I are created in the image of the, the divine oversoul emotional entity within her and him, this divine mother, this divine father that has no gender, that has no sexuality, and you and I can play at the highest love laws or codes of program in the software program within the infinite multiverse to stop the aging process and reverse the aging process. So we're playing in the physical laws of nutrition and detoxification and fasting. We're playing in the spiritual laws of using energy, vibrational frequency work. And now we're playing at the highest love laws, working specifically with God. 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 When you're working specifically in your own personal, private, emotional integrity relationship with this divine, oversoul, emotional, conscious entity, you can stop your aging. How do you do it? What's the highest love laws, Jason, within the infinite multiverse? The highest love laws that we can work with is when the individual makes a decision which is an instant miracle. The instant miracle is that they are the cause of every moment of their life. When they come to a cognitive realization in their brain, heart, in their spiritual form and soul, that they know, that they know without any doubt that they are the cause of every situation, circumstance, and an event, they will come to a, a realization that it's all emotions. Emotions in most people are contracted energy or contracted emotions within your physical body, within your spiritual body, and with your soul. And these contracted emotions that are inside of you that are being suppressed or overpressed is emotions of doubt, disappointment, shame, guilt, Anger, rage, fear, terror, and grief. And when these emotions are contracted inside of yourself, we react in addictions, attachments, and codependencies. We react in 
doing things that are harming ourselves and causing pain to ourselves and others, our environment. And when we cause pain to ourselves and others and our environment, and we make choices and decisions to separate ourselves from having an intimate, personal, emotional, high integrity relationship with this divine, oversoul, emotional, conscious entity that we call God that has no sexuality, that has no gender, then you can say we're living in sin, trauma, emotional injuries, our own emotional shadows. And so the individual is actually living in emotional sin or energetic sin. Sin means you're living out of harmony with love. You're living out of alignment with source creator's love and truth. And so if you want to stop your aging, if you want to reverse your aging, The individual needs to take emotion, give themselves emotional permission to go through their own emotional, private, personal connection with source creator, allowing themselves to fully feel all of their pain that others have caused them and that what they've caused to themselves and others, their environment and their personal relationship with God. Now, we don't want to entertain these emotions for hours. No. Weeks, days, and years. No, 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 no. There are most people in this world that entertain these emotions and they live in misery. They live in sacrifice. They live in suffering. They live in sicknesses, diseases, and illnesses physically, mentally, psychologically, and emotionally, socially, economically, financially. They live in the addiction of just living in their doubt. They entertain it over and over again. They're living in their trauma. They're living in their sin over and over again. They're aware of it, but they're punishing themselves over and over again. It's a loop that they're in. And they're choosing to, they're choosing it to live in the loop of misery, sacrifice, and suffering. You don't want to entertain these emotions for long periods of time. Because life is about living, loving, and laughing. And if you're not living, loving, and laughing, you have created your own hell. Life is about creating your own heaven right now in this moment. It's about living in paradise, serenity, euphoria, nirvana right now. And if you're not living, loving, and laughing, if you're not singing and dancing, if you're not playing and having fun, you are creating your own hell right now. You're creating your own hell. So to work with the highest laws of reversing your aging and stopping your aging, you got to take full responsibility for all of the pain emotionally that others have caused you and that what you've caused yourself and others. And you want to do this with source creator. So you're longing, you're emotionally longing, you have intentions, you're ordering this and commanding with God for strength and courage to be emotionally brave, to fully feel your own personal emotional repentance and forgiveness process. Or you can call it your own emotional sins. Or you can call it your own emotional traumas. It's just contracted energy. It's contracted energy Contracted emotions that are blocked inside of your meridian points, in your chakra points, in your energy of tree of life, your kundalini. And this is why you're sick. This is why you have diseases. This is why you have depression. This is why you're overweight. This is why you consistently eat and drink poisonous foods with plastics, human DNA, animal DNA, frequencies of fear. This is why you eat and drink it. This is why you associate with people that live in these poisons, these chemicals, and these toxins. It's because these contracted emotions, these contracted energies that are inside of you, you're not willing to give yourself permission to feel it through and then recode yourself and reprogram yourself. 
So you got to give yourself permission to go through your own repentance and forgiveness process. This is how you save yourself and become your own Messiah. This is how you save yourself and you become your own healer. You become your own guru. You become your own doctor. You save yourself and you entertain yourself. You're entertaining yourself in the moment of allowing yourself to feel through these emotions. Emotions that you have around yourself. Emotions that you have around mom and dad. Emotions that you have around the system and corporations and governments and the public school systems, the banking institutions, the military, whatever. You allow yourself to feel through these emotions so you can what? Love. So you can love the way source creator loves with a pureness of unconditional love. So you can love yourself unconditionally. So you can forgive yourself because you've gone through your own personal emotional repentance process. You have given yourself permission to fully feel all of the harm and pain that you've caused yourself and others, your environment, the animals, the insects, nature, making choices and decisions to run away from having a personal relationship with source. You hurt yourself a lot and you were taught to hurt yourself. You were taught to commit slow self-suicide. Who taught you this? Mom and dad, your grandparents, your family bloodline, society. How does that make you feel? Angry? Afraid? Terrified? How does that make you feel? Now, we got to remember, we don't want to entertain these emotions for long periods of time because then you create addictions. You create your personal reality, personality. You create moods. You create a lifestyle. You don't want to live in your emotional addictions. You want to feel through what you need to feel through in those moments. And then when you, you'll know, it takes 10, 15, 20 minutes, seriously. You'll feel through what you need to feel through. You'll, you'll imagine what you need to imagine. You'll confront what you need to confront. You'll feel through what you need to feel through. If you need to scream, you scream. If you need to yell, you yell. If you need to shake, you shake. If you need to cry, you cry. But then once you, 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 you cry out the root cause of your pain and you stop crying, then that's when you connect with Source Creator and you start using specific exercises, specific techniques, specific drills every day to rise up and start coding yourself, start programming yourself, start creating intentions, intentions. Start ordering the life and commanding the life you deserve to live in. Success, total satisfaction, unlimited amount of money in abundance, becoming angelic, benevolent, celestial, divine, living with freedom, living with sovereignty, living in wealth, living excited, living blessed, living grateful in every moment. You start recoding yourself. You start speaking out loud. You start writing. You start reading specific books, listening to specific audios, attending specific functions and events and meetings with other people that are empowering you. You start eating and drinking things that are empowering you, not disempowering you. So you start eating and drinking things that are live living electricity, live living real food, uncooked, unprocessed, live living, pure premium, raw, organic, whole foods. You start breathing differently. You start choosing to think differently and feel differently and behave differently. Now throughout the day, you're going to have to start doing this. You're going to have to counteract all of the negativity that's coming to you. Now, if you feel a little down, if you feel a little sluggish, a little tired throughout the day, that's perfectly normal. If you feel a little annoyed and frustrated, if, you, if certain anxieties come up and worries and fears come up, if you feel a little sad, 
you know, things that are coming up in your own law of attraction, in your own personal situations and circumstances, events, conversations that you're having with, that's perfectly fine. We're, we're bombarded 24-7 with negative frequencies or unloving frequencies or frequencies that are not satisfying. But you kind of counteract them. You allow yourself to feel what you need to feel. If you need to scream, you scream. If you need to yell, you yell. If you need to talk out loud, you talk out loud. If you need to feel through some fears, feel through what you need to feel through. Cry if you need to cry. But you're only entertaining those emotions for a limited period of time. Minutes. Minutes. You don't want to live in it for hours or days or weeks or years. There are some people in other dimensional locations that have been living in these emotions for thousands of years. And they're con continually to degrade themselves and react in an unloving way. And it shows in their spiritual body. It shows in their physical body. This is why they look zombie-like. This is why they look animalistic-like. This is why they look demonic-like. Is because the soul is communicating to the bodies of what you're suppressing, denying, and avoiding. Now, you don't want to live in them. The greatest addictions are emotional addictions. We just live in it. You want to feel it through. This is why you have a voice. Because you want to purge it out. This is why you can purge energy. You're purging the energy. Sometimes you might physically vomit. Let it go. This is why we have skin pores. They're small, they're small volcanoes to get out the toxins because we're purging the chemicals and the drugs and the toxins that you want to stop eating and drinking or putting on your skin or under your armpits or what you brush with your teeth. You want to stop purchasing these products and services that are killing you. You were taught to commit slow suicide from an unloving corporate system. It's time to wake up. Are you still sleeping? Are you still choosing to sleep? You got to purge. You got to purge the emotions. You got to purge the energy. Purge it. Get it out of you. Every day I'm roaring like a lion. Every day I'm roaring like a lion. Sometimes three or four times a day. Every day I'm tapping. Every day I'm standing on my hands for 30 to 60 seconds. Moving the energy. Moving the fluids, moving the emotions so they can come up to the surface so I can feel through my annoyance, so I can feel through my frustrations, so I can feel through my rage. Because if I don't do it, then I'm going to react and respond and I'm going to throw up and be a, 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 an asshole towards other people. I'm going to re react in an unloving way, a violent way. You might hit them. You might yell and scream at them. You might curse at them. You might... Flip them off when you're on the highway if they cut you off. That's because you're denying those emotions. Now, you want to do this with God. This is how you have an intimate personal relationship with a divine oversoul emotional entity, a living being, a living being that has no sexuality, that has no gender, that you can have a personal relationship with. And you're asking for strength. You're intending it. You're ordering it. You're commanding it. You're desiring it. God, I desire strength and courage and power to emotionally humble myself in this process of healing. When you do this, you're working with the highest love laws of the multiverse. You're understanding what repentance and forgiveness really means because you're giving yourself permission to fully feel all of the pain and harm and damage others have caused you and all of the pain and damage that you've caused yourself and others. Animals, insects, your environment, your personal relationship with God. These are the highest love laws of God. These teachings, I did not invent these teachings, everyone. I just discovered them. I did not invent them. I just discovered it. Nothing is invented. People just discover it. 
I discovered it from spiritual masters, soul enlightened beings, celestial beings that are physically walking the earth, that are living in other dimensional locations, that are living in the highest love celestial realms of the multiverse. And when the individual continues to seek truth, truth will always be provided for them. Always. Because that's an emotional, energetic, vibrational frequency that you have intentions with. It's an order. It's a command. You're becoming your own general. You're understanding that you're becoming, you you are the architect. You are the engineer. You're the guru. You're the main character of your own virtual reality. It's you. So when you're working with the highest love laws of love with God in your own personal repentance and forgiveness process by establishing your own church and creating your own scripture and your own kingdom within you, you can stop the aging process. You can reverse the aging process. Everything is possible when you're working with the highest divine love codes of the multiverse with Source Creator. Everything is possible. I know this. That's a frequency that's completely different than I believe it. It's a knowingness because of the things I've experienced, the things I observed had become aware of in my awake state and sleep state. If you enjoyed this video and it empowered you, please, please share it with your family and friends. Please comment 9999999 in the comment section, which is my life path number. And uh, yeah, connect with me if uh, you want to collaborate with me. If you feel like you have the same similar passions and mission at a deep soul purpose of empowering yourself in the world, connect with me. We can have a lot of fun. Enjoy the rest of your sacred special Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, we'll chat soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.